Hi folks and welcome back to the deck of Tall Ship Providence. I am Captain Sam and today we will be continuing our series of sailor crafts. Today we're going to learn something a little bit more practical. We're going to learn about a stitch that can be used to mend a torn piece of fabric. You can use it for sails, you can use it for pants. In this case we're going to use our awning that tore kind of spectacularly last year. Before we get started, I am going to be talking about the tools we will be using today and a couple that we won't use today, but they're fun to talk about anyway. So these are sail needles. They're sometimes also called glover's needles and they have a triangular cross section. Um, that is to sort of help get the needle through the weave of the cloth without doing too much damage. They come in a lot of sizes. The one we're going to be using today is relatively small. This is one of my larger ones. It is by no means the largest I own. It is the largest that happens to be here on Providence. They can come quite a bit bigger than this and resemble a small bodkin. Uh, next, we will talk about the thread that we use. There are different kinds of sail thread. We're going to be using some wax nylon today, but you can also get cones of smaller thread, which is better for modern sails and for whippings. Another tool we, be, we will be using today is a palm. This is just a general sailing, sail palm, excuse me, a general sail palm for just day-to-day -day repairs and flat stitching. You can also get a roping palm, which I don't have with me, but it's a lot bulkier and sturdier so that you can sew the bolt rope to the edge of a sail. Sometimes they are adjustable, sometimes they're not. You sort of get one and eventually over the course of using it, it'll form more to your hand particularly. Um, we also have a sail hook. I'm not going to be using this today, but it is really handy for projects that need to be kept under tension. You embed the little scorpion tail in your fabric and tie it off to something and you can pull against that to make maintain the tension you need. Uh, the final tool I want to look at, this is an awl. It's great for sort of pre-stabbing holes in really thick canvas. I do have it taped off um, so I don't stab myself by putting my hand into my bag and grabbing the wrong end of the awl. So. All right, folks, this is the tear that is in our awning. I need to put these two pieces of fabric back together. I'm going to be using a modified baseball stitch today. I'm sure it probably has a more specific name, but I don't know what that is. So what we're going to be doing is sort of latticing the two sides of the canvas together. Now, if this were something uh, like a sail that had torn, I might want to patch over it after I've done that. Seeing as this is our awning and it's a backup, I probably won't. To start the repair, you tie a knot in the end of your sail thread and come up through the fabric. Doesn't really matter which side, but it does matter that you start coming up. From there, all of our stitches will be stabbing down away from ourselves. So I'm going to put the needle into the canvas about a quarter inch away from my previous stitch and a quarter inch away from the edge of the cloth. I'm going to pass it through this the sail excuse me the the canvas but i'm going to take this overcast loop and make sure that my needle is above the bite of that loop and what that does is it allows that stitch to sort of pull on the stitch above it and it helps keep everything nice and lined up and tight so once i've got that stitch pulled as tight as i want it i'm going to do the same thing on the other side quarter inch down quarter inch in through the canvas and again, above the bite of the overcast loop. You wanna make sure that your stitches are even in tension and also in length. If they're uneven in terms of tension, you will pucker the fabric and your patch won't sit as nicely on top. And if the stitches are uneven in length, it gets a little wobbly and strange. All right, folks, to finish the stitch, when you get to the other end, you can do it a number of ways. You can simply tie a knot in the back of the fabric. The way I like to do it is to put a modified tailor stitch in where I come down through the fabric, wrap the back end of the thread through it, and then pull that through. What that does is it ties a nice, neat little knot that doesn't look a whole lot different from any of the rest of your stitches. From there, I will run the thread up the line of stitching under the stitches and cut it off close. That way it doesn't get 
into anything. There's not a big heavy knot. It just holds the canvas together. All right, folks, that is it for our sail repair today. Uh, one in a continuing series on sailor crafts. I am Captain Sam. Thank you very much for joining us here on the deck of the Providence and we will see you next time.